All right, as you can see from that drawing that's on my screen, I am going to roll right into the next one. So here we go. I know you guys are excited, and I know there's people on the internet like, dude, when's the next one coming out? You know, probably nobody, but hopefully somebody out there is like, come on, man. Um, so here we go. I'm actually going to close this drawing. I'm not going to save it, and I'm going to open up my title block one again. I already have this set up, so I don't have to do anything. All I'm going to do is start offsetting. If you guys are looking at the notebook, the next drawing that we're doing, it's, it's not really a drawing, but it's just showing us the different angles that we are going to create throughout the school year. After that, we start getting into things that are like real stuff, okay? So this is called the triangle summary. So if you want, go right in here, change this to say, you could put try sum is fine. Um, it's still scale full. Oh, we didn't change the date on the last one, but that's okay. You guys don't know what date it is anyway for me. <laughs> it's actually the 14th. Anyways, make sure your name, make sure you got your period in there, okay? So, offset tool. Now, what is the box size of the try sum uh, drawing? Let's go out here, and I'm going to draw it before I even do it. This line down here is 6. This line here is half of that. And the reason why you know that is because from here to here is 0 degrees. And from there to there is 90. And all of these other ones are at 3, angle 15 and at 3 angle 30, and at 3 angle 45, and at 3 angle 60 and 75, okay? So if you know that this full one is 6, half of those are going to be 3. So what is our box size? Our box size at tallest point is 3, and widest point, whoops, widest point, 6. Okay, so we got 6 by 3. So split those numbers in half, use your offset tool. What is half of 6? 3. That's going to be your left, let's get these off of here, it makes it a little confusing. That's going to be your left and right. If I need the left to right to be 6, that means that your offset is going to be left to right. Half of 6 is 3, left, right. Now, this is not that line, because that would make that drawing be up here. We need it to be in the center. So I'm going to go right into the next one here. This is 3. What is half of 3? Anybody, what is half of 3? You have 3 apples, and you have to give me half. What does that mean? Well, here's one, and then boom, get a knife out, cut that thing in half, and 1.5. Sorry, I'm really, I got caffeine or something in me today, I don't know. But, hopefully somebody's chuckling right now. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. 1.5 on the offset. It's going to be 1.5 up, 1.5 down. Now you can see where it would be. This is the line, and that's the line. And all this other stuff is nothing. So erase these two. This we need for right now because that tells us where to cut this off at and where to cut that one off at. I don't know if I would do a fillet radius zero for this one. I think I would do an old school trim. I think I would select the left and right lines and hit enter. And then I think I would just go boom, boom. So that's that part. Now, do I need these anymore? Anybody? No, we don't need that anymore. Get rid of them. They were just lines or dummy lines or whatever to just figure out where we have to cut those pieces off. But we do need to cut this off and we need to figure out how high this one is. So I actually erased a line earlier that I probably shouldn't have, so let me back up for a second. I would have erased just that one, and let's do an old school trim again. We can actually do this all in one shot. If you pick the four lines that make the box again and hit enter, now I can go around and erase the top and bottom of that line and the right and left of this line. Now I can erase everything else. That's probably a better way of doing it, and I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. But here we are. Somebody out there was like, dude, it could be easier. Well, there you go, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your line. You're going to start at this midpoint. If you're not getting midpoint once again, that's OS Enter. And make sure midpoint is turned on. Line. I need a 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90 is already there. And all the way to 180. We're working on our angles and how to draw them. They are going to be with polar coordinates at... Three. That's how long the line is, three inches. Angle sign, which you have to hold shift and you got to hit the comma key, and then you're going to type the angle, 15. Boom. I don't want to start a new one from here, so I hit escape, I hit space bar, that brings me back into the line tool, and I go back here again. At three, angle 45. Oh, I skipped one, but it doesn't matter. I'll go back right now. Escape, space bar, click. At three, angle 30. Escape, space bar, click. At three, whoops, at three, angle 60. 
at 3, angle 75. It's every 15 degrees. Now, if you're a smart little one and you remember from the beginning tutorials, I can just mirror this over. Don't mirror that one. It's already there. Don't mirror this one because that's already over there. Mirror from here to here, straight up and down. Obviously, if you misclick, it's going to go in the wrong place. Straight up and down. Do you want to erase the source? No, leave the source alone. And boom, this is done. Any questions? These are visible lines. They go to 0.7. In your text, click. Specify height, always 1 8. Very sad about that. I really wanted to do 1 4th text type, but it's just not going to work. Okay, so we're going to have to keep rolling with 1 8. Rotation angle 0. This is going to be for the numbers that are going around the outside, and then we're going to have a dimension at the bottom. So the first one is 0. I like, just like to put them anywhere and then move them later. Okay, 0. Now, here's the hardest part about this drawing, but it's really not that hard. The keyboard and Windows software, like Windows 10 or whatever, has different keyboard uh, symbols that have to do with the keys themselves. It's a key combination. So if you hold the Alt key and you use the right numbers, okay, so make sure NumLock is on, that way you can use those numbers on the right side, hold Alt, do 0176, and then let go of everything, and that'll give you the degree sign. If you don't do it fast enough, it will not work. So watch me as I do it. You guys can't see, but whatever. Hmm. Maybe I can show you. Oh, it won't go low enough. Here we go. All right, close enough. Holding Alt, 0176, and let go. And now you'll see, I guess my numlock is not on. All right, hold on. See, I hate when that happens. Maybe it's not Alt, actually. Hold on, hold that thought. Control. No, it's definitely Alt. Huh. That's odd. Why would that symbol be different? It has been Alt 0176 for 10 years of teaching. And now it's different. Alright? So here's what you do instead. Okay? I'll, I have to figure this out. That's really strange that unless I'm remembering the number wrong, it should be 0176. But what you can do is you can go to, you can go to Google, type in degree sign. And you'll see right here there's a degree sign. Highlight it, do control C. This is probably easier anyways. You now have a degree sign copied. So when you go into your text, just do control V is paste. Okay? So now I'm coming back up here. Let's see if we can get this back where it was. Oh boy. Alright. That's the edge of my green screen up there. And that's my desk over there. Man, this is messing everything up. Okay, so back to the text tool. So, and you know what? Here's the other thing. You can go back into text tool or you can just take this and copy it. Again, that's control C and control V. Why am I copying zero a million times? Because I can go back into these and type what I want. Don't get rid of the degree sign. 15. 30. 45. You guys get the idea. Finish this up. What I would do is put your zero somewhere about there. Don't let them snap. I'll do one more. 15 degrees. Pretty close. Don't let them touch the lines. Go all the way around to 180 degrees. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're just going to throw a dimension on the bottom. Boom. Boom. Six. Any questions? That's pretty much it. Alt 0176, it's been that for 10 years. That's very strange. Let's go into, before I end this video here. Man, that's weird. Here, let's, let's actually figure out what it's supposed to be now. How do you type a degree sign? Look at this, Alt 0176. Man, that's weird. It's AutoCAD. Somehow they they uh, they changed it within AutoCAD. So you guys believe me now, and that's all I was worried about because I was going to get off this video and go cry my eyes out and waste an entire box of tissues. But now you know that I was right. Okay. Anyways, this video is done. Print it out, and I will see you later. Peace.